So when we are handling linear inequality equations, we basically handle them the same way if it was a equal sign. Okay? But the only thing we have to make sure is in this cases, we always try to make the unknown, the x, the coefficient to be positive. So in this case, because it's negative 3x, if we add it to the other side, like so, so the negative 3x is moved to the right hand side to become 3x, that means x is on going to stay on this side, the non x is the 10, and then the 7 is going to minus over to the side, and 10 minus 7 is a 3. And now you'll realize that I, what I'm going to divide is just a 3. So when we deal with dividing a positive number, we don't need to change the sign. Okay? And that would give you an answer in this format. So x is greater than 1. But we will like to rearrange it back to the... So that the unknown is back on the left hand side. So x was greater. x is greater than 1. So you can see it's the same thing, but it's re rewritten in the x being the term on the left hand side. And after that, we will just draw the number line. Okay, and we will just simply follow the arrows direction. So this is going the other way. So the arrow is going that way. So will be drawn as such okay when do we need to fill it in when it's equal like for example these type of questions there's an equal sign as well extra than this one there's no equal sign so it's not filled in so there's the bulb without the ball being filled in okay so we, the same way you will do number two and the same way we'll do number three and then number four you can see there's a little bit difference where you have to open up the bracket first so the 5 would need to be multiplied into the bracket to everything inside it. So 5 times 2x is 10x. And 5 times negative 1 is negative 5. We didn't do anything on this side. And what to move to keep the x positive? It's moving the smaller number to the side of the greater term. So 10 was bigger. So leave the 10 here by moving the... 3x over, so it's minus 3x, and the negative 26 was there, I'm going to add a 5 to it, because I'm going to move this 5 over to the other side, and that gives us negative 21, and 10x minus 3x is 7x, again I'm going to divide a 7, which is positive, and then I need to worry about changing the sign, and negative 21 divided by 7 is a 3, again, rearrange it back so that you can just simply copy the sign you cannot copy the sign unless x is on this side because if you look at this one you try and copy the sign it will go the other one direction which is wrong x must always be placed on the left for it to work okay it's because it's x is smaller than negative 3 so x is smaller than negative 3 so just write down whatever you see here and then it's smaller so that way so literally it's just following the same symbol see that whereas in number one that okay now quickly go to number seven so instead of brackets like so we can also have fractions. So when we deal with fractions, because the 5 and the 9, they're both positive numbers. So again, when we deal with positive numbers that are multiplying, we don't change the sign. Just leave both of the denominators on both sides as the multiples to multiply. Okay, so I have times 5 on both sides and I have times 9 on both sides because those two were the only denominators. What will that do? That would simplify the 5 with the denominator and simplify this 9 with the denominator. 
and what will happen is that the 9 is going to multiply everything on the top so make sure you can write that step in so that you remember what to multiply and then 9 times 11 99 9 times 2 is 18 5 times 7 is 85 5 times 4 is 20 and then which way to move negative 20 is smaller so I'll add the 20 x to the side and that is 2x that's negative 14 and then if we divide the 2 over you get negative 7 and then again just draw the number line this direction is filled in this time okay that's it